today we are moving the Bristol Freighter into its new home, which is our conservation hangar. It was sort of retired to an airfield in New Zealand, um, and there was talk of redevelopment of the area, so we stepped in and brought it back to the UK. We've today moved the freighter from the Brabazon hangar where it was being stored and we are about to put it inside the hangar behind me and so from there we'll be able to start working on it and start conserving it. We were delighted that through the Biffa Award which is part of the Landfill uh, Communities Fund kick-started this exciting uh, project. We've also had a number of other supporters who have supported our engineering futures appeal and it's thanks to them that we've been able to preserve this grey 2 listed hangar and get us to a position where we can move our long-term conservation projects into a, a fit for purpose workshop for the first time. It is a really tight fit height wise luckily once we get it through the door the roof inside is actually a lot higher so it's only a tight squeeze for a, a really short period. <laughs> the new Conservation in Action workshop will really complete the visitor journey here at the museum. You'll be able to enter into the workshop and really get up close to volunteers working on the Bristol Brolling Book and the Bristol Freighter and ask them questions and even view live demonstrations of conservation and engineering skill work. And we hope to support formal apprentices going into engineering careers. It has been particularly challenging um, restoring the hangar uh, during um, the COVID-19 um, pandemic through uh, 2020. Many of our volunteers being in the uh, vulnerable category have been missing the social interaction of volunteering and conserving and working on aircraft. So they're thrilled to be able to return back. It also presents like a fantastic opportunity to talk to our visitors about this new space and what they can see, things that they haven't seen before um, at the museum. So it would be fantastic uh, for us to talk about and encourage visitors back to Aerospace Bristol once we are able to reopen.